a good wholesome family Christmas movie. Hey guys, this is my review for Die Hard. They showed it in the theaters a few days ago and I was very, very excited to uh, get to see this in theaters. I also have a ugly Christmas sweater that says, I have a machine gun now, ho, ho, ho. So that was a really cool thing. The film was directed by John McTiernan back in 1988 and this is one of the pinnacle films. John McTiernan was a big dude back in the late 80s, early 90s. He directed Die Hard, Predator, Hunt for Red October, Last Action Hero. This guy knew how to direct an action movie. He knew how to set this up. And the film came out at the perfect time. People were tired of cliche slasher horror movies. People were tired of kind of just ridiculously cheesy one man army sort of films. So what they did is they put a guy, a regular dude in a situation and they let it play from there, and it is a fantastic action movie. Bruce Willis is super awesome as John McClane. This is a character you could tell he cared about. This was a character that was a staple mark in his career, and he is a regular guy. He's sure a bit cocky. He's got that New York kind of mentality to him, but that's what makes him so intriguing, and you want to root for him so much while he's taking down all these terrorists, terrorists in the Nakatomi Plaza. Alan Rickman is amazing as Hans Gruber. He's a villain that, while what he's doing is wrong, he's so classy and chalant about himself that you can enjoy his presence. He's a good bad guy to root against, but at the same time, he's intriguing enough that you actually are interested in more in his character. Then there's obviously Sergeant Powell, who's a great motivator for John McClane throughout this thing. He's also pretty much the everyday person in terms of how they were viewing this event, and a lot of his dialogue is very funny. This film is incredibly rewatchable too. Everything from the soundtrack to how the set pieces are set and how the action unfolds, it's immediately rewatchable. I've watched this movie so many damn times, whether it's the Christmas season or it's just a feeling of wanting to watch Die Hard. It is one of the most rewatched movies in my entire collection and I love every part of it. If there's one detractor, one little thing I could say that possibly could have been removed from the film, is the character of Richard Thornburg. Now he's that slimy, kind of greasy view of media at the time and he's a funny gag, especially when it turns out at the end when John Holly McClane punches him right in the face, but that's a long time to build up for that joke. His character is actually essentially not important. He's more so there for padding. He's there to kind of space out the events in between with what's going on with John, what's going on with Hans, and what's going on with the police. The reason why I say that is because he could have been removed from the film and all it would have taken is for Hans Gruber to flip up the picture on Holly's desk earlier. He looks at it, he looks at it, but he doesn't bother to flip it up. If he had flipped it up when he saw it, then when he meets John McClane later on and pretends to be just one of the staff of the, the plaza, that's when he could have figured out that Holly Gennaro and John McClane were a couple. And then admittedly though, when he does get Holly, he doesn't do anything with her, except try to use her as a shield, but fails. Because all he would have had to do is, you know, just say, John, hey, I'm going to kill your wife if you don't come down to this floor. But I guess it works out in terms of how he finds it out with the explosion of the top of the building. So otherwise, Die Hard is still a fantastic movie. It is one of the best action films of its generation and of our time, really. It set the precedent of what people tried to follow with afterwards. And some did it well, some kind of just basically took this concept and then they turned it into different variations with a guy on a plane, guy on a train, all these kind of different aspects. So when you see anything that is similar to a person being in a building and fighting against a number amount of bad guys, it's basically a Die Hard knockoff or very heavily borrowing from Die Hard. So in the end, I'm of course gonna give Die Hard a seven out of seven. This is a fantastic movie. If you've never seen it, I don't know where you've been, but definitely watch it, especially for the holidays, because. It's a Christmas movie, damn it. And before I end the video, I'm gonna do another shout out for Camp Def 3 in 2D. These guys let me review their film uh, earlier in the year. It's terribly bad, but it's also terribly funny. Their film is coming out on Amazon Prime on February 15th, so I'm definitely gonna do a shout out for these guys up until the release of the film. So if you guys wanna check anything out, there's a link in the description to their website. And so if you wanna watch a really bad but really 
funny kind of horror movie, kind of like what Thanks Killing was, and sort of along that line of cheap indie, really ridiculous sort of an indie feature. Check these guys out. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all for me. See you guys next time.